have only a day to visit Malibu? Well, don't worry, this is the video for you. I took a day trip taking a road trip from Venice Beach to Malibu and it was amazing. They don't call it the 21 miles of scenic beauty for nothing. Many people think about Malibu, they think of celebrities, huge, beautiful, multi-millionaire mansions, but they also often glaze over the fact that it is an outdoor paradise with amazing hikes, beautiful beaches, and just an amazing time to get away from the city. I had an amazing time going to the Malibu Fishing Pier, going to take lunch from the country market to have on the beach as a picnic. There were so many there were so many great things to do. There are amazing hikes that you can take, like the Escondido Waterfall hike, or you can head and check out a beautiful view of Zuma Beach on a hike there as well. One thing I like to do is check all trails while I'm in an area to see what hikes are around. And that's exactly how I found Point Doom, which I highly recommend and was one of the highlights of my trip that you'll see later on in the video. But if you have any questions about a day trip to Malibu, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Again, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can follow on on my California adventure. Hello from Malibu Farms on the Malibu Pier and this place has a restaurant as well as a cafe at the end of the pier where you can come to enjoy great food and amazing views. Behind me there's surfers surfing, there's a beautiful beach and some amazing mansions on the cliff behind me. But yes, we're just going to go to El Matador Beach today, check out Point Doom as well as see what else we get up to because honestly it seems like there's uh, no way to go wrong while you're driving up the Pacific Coast Highway to see some amazing sights in California. How we handle our fears will determine where we go with the rest of our lives. I'm Sarah, an adventure and luxury travel blogger from Orlando. When I'm not exploring my home state of Florida, I'm traveling around the world and the US trying to find adventure in everyday life. Facing my fears and finding unique adventures and experiences to share and inspire. Be brave with me and face our fears together and subscribe. The story began when my friend Rose called me up saying she got a Tesla with unlimited charges and wanted to take a road trip. Fast forward a couple of months and we were picking up sandwiches at the Country Mart to explore on a road trip from Venice Beach to Malibu. Hello everyone from the Pacific Coast Highway. I'm just here with my friend Rose and we are heading to the Malibu Fish Pier. Here they have things now such as Malibu Farm, a restaurant, as well as Malibu Farm Cafe at the end of the pier where you can have some amazing coffee and treats and then just enjoy the beautiful views of Malibu and the Malibu Beach. While parking's free along the Pacific Coast Highway, we found it difficult on the weekends to get a spot near Malibu Fishing Pier, so we paid the $15 parking fee. Malibu Farm has two locations, one at the beginning of the pier and one at the end that serves breakfast. We went there so if the marine fog layer ever lifted, we would have beautiful views. And guess what? We got lucky and it did. You could see the surfers surfing from the Malibu beach as well as fishers fishing off of the pier and the beauty of the mansions on the cliffs above. Hello from Malibu Farm Cafe. I am here and Rose just went to check the car, but I have some Swedish pancakes that I'm super excited for. I wanted something sweet and Rose got something savory. The Rancheros meal here it has avocado, eggs, everything you could want. It definitely is super filling and plus we got some coffee. But yeah, I love these mugs. They're so cute. They say Malibu Farm, and it is just beautiful to come out here. It was foggy, and now the fog has cleared, and we have an amazing view of Malibu Beach behind me. Malibu Fishing Pier is steep with history. It's been around since 1905 for shipping agricultural product, but then opened to the public in the 1930s and became a spot for people to fish as they watch surfers surfing on the famous Surfrider Beach. 
After two storms damaged the pier, it was closed from 1997 to 2008 when it opened to its current splendor of 780 feet of pier jutting into the sea. Malibu is part of 156,000 acres of the Santa Monica Mountain National Recreation Area. There are so many hikes and places to stop along the 21 miles of scenic beauty. While I didn't have time to go to Escondido Falls, I was super excited to get to Point Doom. If you're heading to Point Doom on a weekend, be warned, there's very few parking spots at the trailhead, but there is also parking by the Westward Beach. Point Doom is a great hike for all levels and abilities. A 1.4 mile trail will bring you to epic viewpoints of waves crashing against the cliffside, falcons flying, and maybe you will even get lucky and see whales and dolphins just like I did. We finally came out and we headed to Point Doom Nature Preserve here in Malibu. And it's so pretty. Other than the construction workers here. Whoa, that was a strong gust to win. But yeah, so you can see the beautiful cliffs in the, in the distance and there's a lot of beautiful like wild flowers over here, which is also quite pretty. And it's usually really shiny here, as I've said before. It's a nice tour guide of Southern California since she's grown up and lived in San Diego. Yep. But yeah, there's a lot of pathways and trails here at Point Doom. And it's close by the Malibu Pier, and really not that far from LA, so it's perfect little day trip if you want to get outside of the city. But definitely worth a stop if you want some pretty nature trails and beautiful views. <laughs> it was amazing to see how nature can heal itself. After 2018, when the Wolseley fires ravaged Malibu, destroying celebrity homes, nature, and everything in its path, nowadays you can see this beautiful resurgence of flowers and coastline along the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. met some nice lady that's actually from here to talk to you about the trail and that. She said they were like filming a movie down here. So there's a bunch of people doing rock climbing and you can see the beach out in the distance. It's so cool. There's literally so much beauty in California. I am like so impressed. I'm so glad I made it here. I don't know. But yeah, yeah it's so nice. And the trail's not too While the hike was fairly easy, there are some parts where the trail gets thin and the place can get pretty busy, so just be aware of that and come early if you want to avoid crowds. But be sure to go to the point where you can see Westward Beach. You may get lucky and see whales. When I saw a bunch of people staring into the water from the beach as well as from the cliff, I was wondering what they were looking at. Where? They spotted whales that were migrating down the coast. Oh! Westward Beach stretches all the way down to Zuma Beach and is a beautiful stretch of coastline. Hello from Zuma Beach. It's right outside of Malibu and it's one of the top beaches to come visit when you're here. People are just playing beach volleyball, hanging out, chilling. And after this, we're going to El Matador Beach. Super excited to try some new beaches around the California coast. Just an eight minute drive from Point Doom State Park is El Matador Beach. There's a beautiful staircase that leads down to the beach and has views of mega mansions and the beautiful rock formations with waves crashing below. In terms of accessibility, the walk down is pretty steep as well as the walk back up and there are a lot of stairs. If you're looking for the perfect place for sunset, I recommend Point Doom or El Matador Beach. They're definitely a great way to end day after lounging around or playing beach volleyball on Zuma Beach. If you're coming at sunset though, be prepared that parking is difficult and limited. But you can't come to Malibu without coming to El Matador Beach.
Right now we're at El Matador State Park, a amazing beach with these cool rock formations. The water is definitely crazy here with some huge waves as you can see behind me. But they have some beautiful rock formations. The water is definitely cold, but this is such a beautiful spot that if you can find a parking spot, you should for sure come here. But be careful, there are very few parking spots and they do ticket very uh, religiously. <laughs> but yes, now we're going to head back to LA and then stay in Pasadena for the night. But otherwise I've had an amazing time exploring Malibu and the beaches here which are amazing and wild and beautiful. But see you in Pasadena. If you find extra time during your trip to Malibu, head to the Getty Villa Museum or take a side trip and go to Topanga where you can have amazing food at Cafe 27 with a unique view of the mountains of the Santa Monica range. If you like this video, you can also find more details on my blog post on Malibu on my website, www.travelsofsarafay.com. If you haven't already decided, you definitely need to be taking a day trip to Malibu because it is a wonderful world of peaceful, relaxing beaches, and it is what you make it. You could spend a lot of money going to places like Nobu, or you can get your food to go from places like the Malibu Country Market. There's honestly an array of activities to do for all levels of adventures, and not only that, it's just the beautiful West Coast beaches of California with an amazing sunset and sunsets are free. But if you want to follow along for next week's adventures, please hit subscribe and the notification bell and leave a comment if you have any questions or tips for my road trip through California.